So I've plugged everything into my television, the um, Amazon Fire TV stick, and it's prompting me to uh, use the remote control and press the home button for 10 seconds. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to hold this down and push it for 10 seconds. And there you go. And it says press play to start. So I'm going to do that. And now it's scanning for my network here. And I am going to select my network and type in my password. So I put in my password and I am going to click connect. So I'm going to connect here. Connection successful. And it's checking for updates. Oh great, it's downloading the latest software, which I suppose it's a good thing. So this might take a while. Uh, so it's almost done installing the latest updates and that took about a good 10 minutes, eight to 10 minutes. So it's it's been downloading all this time and it should be done soon. But it's uh, about eight to 10 minutes has passed. And it appears the TV stick rebooted and it downloaded everything. Notice I'm on HDMI 3, which is where I put my stick. So now it's installing the software. So you, you could think of that thumb, it looks like a thumb drive, but it's um, a thumb drive connecting to your HDMI TV. And it's really more like a mini computer. And it does say it's dual core with 8 gigs of storage and 1 gig of RAM, which is relatively a lot. Um, so, okay, let's wait and see how long it takes to install the software. And it looks like it just rebooted. So again, it is like a mini computer here, so it's um, rebooted now. Fire TV stick, and it'll probably bring up what's more or less a program guide. So I was actually looking on the Google Apps, and I found the Amazon Fire TV remote app, um, but it's actually incompatible with my Google Nexus 7 and supposedly they're coming out with another version of the app around November 26 which uh, hopefully will be supported on uh, my Android tablet so once again it's cycling through checking for updates And it wants me to log in, so I'll be logging in, entering my email. So I've entered my email and I click next and it prompts me for the password. So I'll enter in the password. So I've signed in. And so it prompted me for confirmation of uh, that account. Hello and welcome to your new Amazon Fire TV stick. We want to make sure you get the most out of your new streaming media player. So we're going to take a quick tour together that will teach you how to get the most out of your Fire TV stick. Before we get started, just a quick reminder on setup. For best performance, please use the power adapter that was included. Fire TV stick lets you stream a huge amount of entertainment. And the included remote lets you access it all. It's really pretty cool. Let's get started. Navigating is easy. The home button takes you to your Fire TV Sticks home screen at any time. Press here to navigate up or down, left or right. Press the center button to select. And press the back button 
to return to the previous screen. With Fire TV Stick, you can watch hundreds of thousands of movies and TV episodes from Netflix, Amazon Instant Video, Hulu Plus, and more. Access exclusive titles and play games. Fire TV Stick even makes recommendations for other movies and TV shows that you might enjoy. Alright, looks like that's it. Um, TV show you want to watch looks later, like that's the watch completes the installation. It on the home screen. Just click right here. If you're an Amazon Prime member, in addition to the shipping benefits, you get unlimited access to 40,000 movies and TV episodes and over a million songs, all at no extra cost. Easily browse Prime content in various categories. Not a Prime member? No worries. Right after this video, you're going to get a chance to sign up for a free 30-day trial, so you can try it for yourself. With Amazon Cloud Drive, you can store 5 gigabytes of your pictures and personal videos in the cloud for free. Then, with your Fire TV Stick, you can access those pictures and videos anytime you want on the big screen. Let's talk about gaming. With Fire TV Stick, you can play some really fun games. You can use the directional buttons on your remote, or you can use the Amazon Fire Game Controller, sold separately. You can turn your phone into a remote control by downloading the free Fire TV Remote app from Amazon App Store or Google Play, and soon from the Apple App Store. You can use the app to navigate, perform keyboard text entry, or do voice searches using your phone's mic making it even easier to enjoy all the content your Fire TV Stick has to offer. Just pull down on the microphone icon and say the name of a movie, TV show, actor, or director. Alpha House. When you use the voice feature on the remote app or the optional Fire TV voice remote, we take your voice information and process it in the cloud to deliver better, quicker search results and to help improve your experience. And with Fire TV Stick, you can also enjoy Second Screen. Second Screen allows you to start a movie or TV show on your Fire phone or compatible Fire tablet, and with a tap, fling content to your TV while you continue to do other things on your phone or tablet, like check email, Twitter, or Facebook. Okay, we've just scratched the surface of what you can do. If you want to watch this video again, or need more help, go to Settings and click on the Help button, and you'll find what you're looking for. Thank you, and enjoy your new Amazon Fire TV stick. So it's going to try to sell me Amazon Prime, and I'm going to say no, uh, because likely I am, because likely what's going to happen is I'm going to register for the 30-day trial, and it's going to be very hard to cancel. I'll probably have to call in or... Uh, do some thing out of the ordinary to cancel so I'm gonna say no thanks I don't need parental controls so I'll say no thanks and this is the screen this is the home screen